what's going on guys it's omniarch and today i'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about the state of modern young men now yesterday the hip-hop community mourned the loss of juice world who suddenly passed away due to a seizure after landing getting off of his uh, private plane in california he was rushed to the hospital soon uh, passed away after that and um you know we haven't seen any confirmed reports on what happened what caused the death we haven't seen any toxicology reports um, but if i were a betting man i would say he probably had a seizure as a result of benzodiazepine withdrawal syndrome which is you know seizures are very common essentially what this is uh, is if you are known for taking uh, different forms of benzos over long periods of time three months or longer or even years and then you suddenly either stop taking them or you lower your dosage too dramatically what ends up happening is your neurology is already so damaged and so dependent on those drugs that your body has all sorts of negative side effects and one of them is seizures and that it's just common for people you know to have a seizure especially if they're not under the the close eye and care of a uh, doctor um which you know as somebody like him who travels around the world and you know lives this lifestyle of drugs drugs and alcohol it's unlikely that you know if he was trying to quit taking drugs he probably was not doing it in the safest way i don't know again and i don't and i'm not saying any of this out of disrespect um but you know this is what i would be i would be willing to bet that this is what caused him to suddenly pass away um and you know i don't really think that this comes too much of a surprise for anybody i mean if you listen to his music over the last couple of years he's talked openly about um various uh drug use and heavy being a heavy drug user for years now at this point so you know whether it was withdrawal syndrome or overdosing or whatever like it wouldn't really come to a surprise to anybody and you know this he's not the only one and, and again i don't mean this in any, in any disrespectful way he was obviously incredibly influential and was able to touch the lives of many many young people uh in the gener in my generation the generation uh, below me and um you know it's just it's really sad to see this happen and to continue to happen because we did see this happen to mac miller um, who ended up passing away from a, a something slightly different. Uh, we saw this happen to Little Peep. We've, we're seeing this happen all the time. Um, and, you know, extending this past drug use, I mean, we also saw, obviously, XXX Tentacion pass away to um, gun violence. Uh, we also saw 6 9 get locked up for, you know, criminal charges, uh, gun violence, things like all sorts of criminal activity. Um, you know, he has a long list of things, basically. So, I wanted to make this video because it seems like young men right now are really struggling and I'm coming from the perspective of somebody who lives in America I'm 25 so my demographic um, maybe the uh, up a couple of years above me as well as uh, people beneath me and all the way down to the age of 18 you know that age bracket men under 30 basically are really struggling right now it seems um, and I have some statistics here that I want to talk about, but the reason that I'm talking about this specifically is because, um, you know, I'm, I'm not an expert on any of this by any means. Um, I'm not a doctor. I, I don't really study, you know, um, the, the, the psychology of our current culture. Um, but, you know, I think my demographic, the people that watch my videos, probably are under the age of 30 and are men. So I wanted to make this video kind of just to tackle and wrestle with this uh, this crisis, basically, that's happening in the modern world, in America at least. I'm sure it's happening other places. So let's look at some of the statistics that I have here. So I tried to get as uh, recent uh, statistics as I could that come from a credible source. So in 2017, three and a half times more men committed suicide than women. Um, also in 2017, white males made up 70% of suicide deaths uh, in also in 2017 68% of opioid overdose deaths were men and in 2019 as of 2019 93% uh, of inmates are men as well so if we look at this uh, the numbers don't lie these are staggering these uh, is obviously skewed in in you know um, to the detriment of men and 
that's not to say that women have it easy women have their own set of problems obviously um, they struggle culturally with various different things but um, when it comes to suicide drug use overdose and violent crime uh, obviously men are really struggling in these areas and I'm trying to figure out like me personally I'm trying to figure out what's causing this uh, and again I, I if I if I were a betting man I would say it probably has something to do with modern men not really feeling like they have a purpose like they don't really feel like they have a reason to wake up in the morning they don't feel like there's a what like what do they they don't know what to do um, they either aren't qualified for really high paying jobs or they're not able to um, especially creative men it, it's really hard for creative men to make money from art right whether it's making music or painting or graphic design or anything like that or video editing you know and again this is not to say that women have it easier in these fields it's i'm merely trying to form a hypothesis as to why are men resulting to suicide drug use and violent crime um clearly more than women like just statistically more than women so i don't i feel like it has something to do with a lack of meaning and a lack of purpose um i think society right now is structured in a way that you know is probably easier for women to digest you know uh, going to high school college um finding like uh, work experience and things like that that's a very structured it's very you know packaged and boxed in and i feel like maybe a lot of men are just too disagreeable or, or too you know um they just don't really that doesn't fit how they function right they they can't just sit still at a desk and study for eight hours a day um i don't know I, again i'm not a i don't specialize in this I, i'm not sure but um you know part of the reason that i'm making this video is if you are a man in this demogra uh, demographic and you're feeling some type of way whether you're feeling depression or you're feeling maybe you currently are relying on drugs to feel to numb any sorts of pains or anything like that um i, I would love to hear your um a point of view what how do you feel in the comment section below uh, just so I, I, I don't know. This is just, it's, it's actually fascinating to me in the worst way. And one of the things about Juice World passing away, likely due to drug use, whether it was overdose or withdrawal syndrome, uh, most likely it was drug use. I mean, they even found pills on the plane. They found gun, guns on the plane, weed, which who cares about that? But all the news outlets are like, oh my God, there was weed. Who cares? Whatever. Um, but you know, pills and drugs, uh, drugs and guns that none of that spells out a promising future really. But, um, one of the interesting things about juice world, Mac Miller, these rappers that are famous, right? They're millionaires or they, at least they are very well off. Um, they have tons of, of fans and people that love them, right? Absolutely adore them. People that will buy the tickets to their shows and come out and freaking lose their mind for a chance to meet them and shake their hand and take a picture with them you know you would think that men in this position right would be thriving you would think that right you would think that looking at these statistics three and a half times more men committing suicide um 68 of overdose opioid overdose deaths are men 93 percent of inmates are men you would look at that and think well that's probably poor men right like that's probably the disenfranchised man that no one cares about they're ugly they they can't find a they can't find a girlfriend um, they aren't smart they're not educated they don't have any skills those are the men that are the ones that are committing suicide and overdosing and going to jail right that's what you would think intuitively right like that seems like that would be self-evident but then we're seeing these rappers these people with millions of dollars and you know basically fans and people love them women love them like you would think they're at the top of the social hierarchy um, you would think that they would be doing well, right? But it turns out they're also doing drugs, overdosing, committing uh, violent crime. Like, they're doing all the same things. And so, I'm trying to figure out, like, what exactly is going on with this, this cultural movement? Like, where are we headed? What's causing this problem? I think it's a very multivariate issue. I think there's lots of things going on. Um, I think there is a dark underbelly of our current culture that we should be discussing more because um, obviously men are not making it right like it's this is serious like a lot of men are not choosing life and that's scary um, so I'm wondering if 
we're seeing a culture that is praising drug use and alcohol consumption and violent crime is that being pushed by these rappers and thus the people on the bottom rung of society like they're just copying them is that what's going on i don't really buy that right like i don't really think that's the case because for decades now we've seen back you know even back in like the 60s and 70s rock artists musicians they all were doing drugs and now consuming alcohol and all sorts of stuff right but if you look at the charts we're seeing suicide spike we're seeing opiate overdose overdoses spike we're seeing all sorts of terrible things happening within the last decade so something has changed in the last decade starting in 2010 and up until now whereas um the rich famous musicians and artists that happen to be young men we're still doing the same thing young men are doing now right but it's even worse on uh, as a as a culture we're seeing even more men committing suicide overdosing going to jail than we ever have before at least that's what it looks like to me from the little data that i pulled out uh, pulled up so i don't know what's going on i don't think we can just point the finger at the rappers and at the artists and be like well they're glorifying sex drugs and alcohol and everything and and that's why the youth are are doing it you know obviously i think it's uh it's it's a self-fulfilling prophecy i think you know again if that were the case this would have been a way bigger problem starting 40 years ago but it's really spiked in the last nine to ten years so something's changed in the last nine to ten years so it's not just that it's not just the you know artists glorifying this lifestyle it's even deeper than that it's it's men doing this to themselves for other reasons the hat there has to be other reasons right because not all young men listen to rap <laughs> not all young men are really into modern culture they're not really you know uh watching modern things i mean maybe they are i don't know but i would be willing to bet that it's not just you know this celebrities pushing this culture um, I, there's something else going on here and that and that's kind of why I'm making this video um, to see if you guys can comment in the, in the comment section below telling me what your perspective is what do you think um, you know I'm hoping to reach people in different states maybe even different countries that can give me a better idea um, but again my hypothesis it falls on um, men just not functioning well in such a rigid society maybe and just feeling like it it, it they just can't perform well and if they can't perform well then they don't have uh, you know a prospects of good of a good paying job and and you know maybe i think providing for family is something that men whether they realize it or not probably take really seriously um i don't know at this point i'm kind of just rambling so that's kind of why i wanted to make this video um if you are watching this and you are a young man under the age of 30 and you're feeling some type of way you're feeling depression you're feeling um you know like you're maybe you've been taking drugs and you're starting to think that th that it's it is you know a problem it's beginning to be a problem and you know it is um and you know you haven't been able to admit it to yourself until now please seek help like please um please contact you know no matter what country and i'm sure there's a national um suicide hotline there's a uh, there's different resources that can help you get clean and get off of drugs safely without just cutting them out of your life some some drugs especially prescriptions if you just cut cold turkey you could still die um so be very careful with that stuff and the, you know hopefully if you're watching this you know better if you've never gotten into any of these prescription drugs you know like stay away from them even if your doctor prescribes them for something like you know a dental procedure or something like that try your best not to take things like xanax and stuff like it's it's damaging so many people's lives and a lot of times people are getting it legally because their doctors are prescribing it and it's it's just really nasty and before you know it you're addicted to it so my advice again not a professional you know but i would try to stay away from this stuff like the plague and you know that's just me that's just my two cents and if you need someone to talk to um my discord link is in the description below as long as as well as all my social media um you don't have to follow me or whatever but you can shoot me a message if you're feeling some type of way and i'll i don't know i mean i'd rather i don't know just i'm just basically letting you know you can you can message me and i'm again i'm not a i don't know anything i this isn't my um 
area of expertise, but sometimes people are lonely and they need someone to talk to, so I'm inviting you to, to, to send me a message, is what I'm trying to say. Um, instead of suffering from loneliness. And with that being said, this video has been really dark, um, but I think it's an important one, so I really felt like I wanted to make it and just talk about this and bounce some ideas off of you guys. If you enjoyed it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new around here. If you have any questions, comment below again. Um, and hopefully my next video will be a bit more upbeat and positive and exciting. Um, but yeah, this video just felt important, so I wanted to make it. And uh, I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.